Uh, how early do you make sure you have the same values in a relationship? Mm. For example, when did you and Ben know you both don't want kids? Is this the kids question? I feel like some things are just not first date material. That's a good point. Yeah, uh, I definitely didn't say on our first date, I hate kids. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't even think we ever had a conversation about it as much as I noticed from talking and getting to know you that having kids wasn't something you were interested or thought was important so i saw this question come up a few times and it seemed to me like people were asking it as if they were also um sensitively worried about broaching the topic with their partner they mm -hmm. said like how did you know when it was safe or okay to tell ben you didn't want kids maybe you're nervous about it how do you even say that without maybe scaring someone away i guess sure. is the fear and I don't remember ever having a specific conversation with you where I was preparing mentally to tell you that I don't want kids and like was going to be afraid of your answer. I don't think that ever happened. It just yeah. kind of... If your partner is paying attention to you and figuring out who you are, they probably should pick up on the fact that that's not that, something yeah. you... I mean, I guess there is a point at which you do maybe talk about it. Well, if one if one person in the relationship having kids is important to them, I think... The they, onus they may be on them to, to sort of bring you. that up at a certain well, point. Well, it should be because having kids is an action. So I would expect that person to say that to something they want rather than the expectation be on the person to just have kids and then say they don't want it. Yeah. That's not fair, I think. I should say, opinion. like, <laughs> as you're dating and you're getting older and you maybe feel your biological clock ticking, which I guess is a thing people worry about. I understand how maybe it becomes more of a thing you have to sort of figure out early on in a like relationship. Like an impending doom clock or something. Well, not to I be know. overly dramatic. But, you know, if you're a 35-year-old woman dating and having kids is still important to you and you feel like you, sure. that needs to happen sooner than later, I get why it would. Right. you would want to volunteer and say, hey, just to be straight up, like having a family is important to me. And that makes total sense to me too. If just that's don't something. do it on the first, just don't do it on the first sure. date. <laughs> I think everyone's situation is different, basically, is, is what the case is. But for us, um, because we met yeah. when we were younger, I mean, 24, it wasn't like I was needed to rush to have kids personally. No. Um, it just kind of naturally over time, came out i don't remember one particular conversation i just i, I, I remember, remember we were at a mexican restaurant called felina's on bank street okay and we were just having a nice eating some fajitas you know maybe tacos i can't remember a hollow dog, a hollow dog. <laughs> and this little girl from a different table i guess was just kind of wandering around the restaurant and she walked up to our table and she looks up at christine she's a cute little girl <laughs> and she clearly wanted to interact with you and I remember you gave me this look like, help. there's some little kid trying like, to help, talk help to me. me. <laughs> <laughs> so I noticed early on, maybe aversion is a bit of a strong word, but you clearly aren't the kind of person who sees a kid and is mm -hmm. like, wants to interact with him and be friendly. We both kind of think babies are, are weird. <laughs> <laughs> <They're> aliens. <laughs> like when someone says, here's my cute baby, and we're just like... Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, I have mixed feelings about this because on the one hand, there's my honest opinion. <laughs> and then there's there's the one that I tell other people, especially mothers and When they ask coworkers. if their babies are cute? Or? No, but hold on, I'm being serious. <laughs> because I have certain feelings about children and having my own, but I don't want to make mothers or people who want children to feel better bad obviously sure. because they want kids or they have kids so that's why i maybe don't really voice my you know feeling towards me having babies that much yeah because I, I don't want to insult and that's exactly. what I'm, not what i'm trying to do everyone has their own opinion about whether or not they want a child it's not for me it's not something i've ever wanted to answer i know a lot of people's questions like when did i know i wanted kids i've just i've never wanted kids I, yeah. There's been no point in my life where I've said, mm, maybe I want kids. Like, no, I can't, can't imagine. But people ask you, do you think you'll ever change your mind? Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's a question I've gotten more That's than super once. super annoying, right? If I had a dollar for every time, no. Um, and the answer is always, nope. <laughs> like, I'm not going to change my mind. I'm now 31, still haven't changed my mind. And maybe I should just suggest to people who do ask people that, don't. 
like you don't know someone's situation maybe someone's incapable of having kids yeah. maybe they're dealing with fertility issues like just don't ask or pressure someone it's or incredibly put this inappropriate on and it's just sad that society has historically put this pressure on women that like they're going to have kids it's just a matter of when when mm -hmm. are you going to start your family because that's what you're here on earth for but we're not making a judgment on people who do want exactly. to do that. And that is important. I am happy. I have plenty of coworkers who've gone on mat leave. They're excited. They get, they're pregnant. Like th there's sure. currently people pregnant at work. There's, yeah. I have a friend on mat leave right now and I'm, I'm happy for them. They bring their babies in. Like it, that's cool. You know, it's yeah. fine. I, I don't hate people who have kids or I don't hate babies and like wish they would go away. I just don't want my own. It's not something I'm just I'm honestly not maternal unless it's a cat. Like <laughs> <laughs> I think it's one of the most like admirable or most important things you'll ever do if you want to have kids. Raising kids is you have to want them also is incredibly important. There yeah. are some people who have kids because of their partner wants them to have a kid, their family wanted them to yeah, have a kid, and they were never really sure if they wanted kids. kids. And I don't think, although I have no experience of being a parent, but I just don't think that that makes a good parent is someone who didn't want kids, right? Yeah. I mean, surely they can change their minds after the kids are born and they learn to love them. But I just don't feel like anyone should feel pressured into that situation. And it, I know it happens yeah. and it sucks. Yeah, I, I think I just want people to know, like, we have a lot of respect for people, though, who do want to be parents and do do it for the right reasons and it's, do a good job yeah. of raising kids because we need... Looks like a lot of hard work. We so. need that next generation to fix the problems that our our parents' generation hats have off, mostly Hats caused. off to parents. <laughs> Seriously, like, I respect parents for doing what they do. It's an incredibly challenging yeah. job and balancing everything, especially with technology and, like, kids getting into social media today. I can't imagine trying to police that and trying to manage, navigate that with my own kid. So Yeah, because I, I notice online sometimes we're sort of mentioned as examples of people who are child-free in like the child-free online community. I don't really know how to feel about that because I get the impression some of those people are very much like anti-people anti having kids at all. Yeah. So we're, I don't want I'm to not associate anti with that i'm not anti people having kids i have tons of yeah. friends and pe family who has kids like that's yeah they're all me. they're all breeders though right okay stop <laughs> is that the no. term <laughs> it's it's just not for me and maybe what about you ben though because you knew i had strong feelings about not wanting kids how did that affect you and your decision to stay with me <laughs> <laughs> i don't i love the life we live now and I do not see how children fit into that is maybe one way of putting it. If I had met you and you really wanted to have kids, I don't think I would have been. I don't like feel that like I really want to be a dad feeling ever. And you're what's stopping me from doing that. But I, the weird thing is I kind of think we would be good parents if we chose to have kids. And I kind of yeah. look at it like you want this is going to sound arrogant, which is, I guess, my thing now. But, you know, you, you want smart people. You want good people to be having kids. Wow. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> okay. Um, I agree with some people that, like, we would have cool kids. Like, we'd be cool parents. I've seen, I've parents. seen people say, you'd be such cool parents because you're so cool and chill. And, we'll like, just be the cool aunt and uncle instead. Yeah. Um, I believe that I could maybe be a cool mom and probably be I'm a reasonable. Cool mom. Yeah, like sure, but I mean, I, <laughs> the fun stuff sounds fun, but the rest of it, not for me. Yeah. Yeah, especially the early, early on stuff. Who wants that? But here's the thing: like, we're gonna die alone, right? No, with each other at the same time. Remember? At the same time. The same I don't time. know. Men die young. I'm gonna die before you, probably. So well, this is your your problem. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Leave me with that. But this is the thing. Yeah, if you're not going to have kids or have an cats. extended younger family, I guess that's actually this is probably a terrible reason to have kids. You shouldn't have kids just because you want young family around Except you when your life do, is coming to an which end. Which is why I also I also find that problematic is that people have kids literally just selfishly thinking of how they need someone to take care of them when they, they're old. How do you know that? They tell you that? In some words. <laughs> I think a lot of people have kids just because they feel like that is the natural progression of how life should go. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I guess that's same with marriage in our biology. You know, there's evolutionary reasons why we have that 
that desire to pass and on. And I our hope genes, that right? most people do have kids, or else we'd have a population problem. Well, we do have a. Po- there's too many people. There's too many people. No, on I the thought Earth? the yeah. the I population mean, Canada, rate in Canada isn't being fueled by people having births. Yeah, in Canada, our population is only going to increase because of, of immigration. immigration. Yeah, less and less people are having children. Yeah, without saying anything too controversial, though, like there are in less developed parts of the world where uh, birth control is harder to come by and yes. women have less control over their reproductive health. Those are the countries where they have population issues, let's say. Right. I guess I was just thinking mostly in North America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking globally. All right. Is this okay, the, so can kids, we stop answering the okay. kid question? <laughs> I don't want kids. I'm sorry, Ben. I don't want your babies. Too long, didn't read. I don't want kids. <laughs> yeah.